Hello, I'm Lessa Logan, and today I want to show you Swan Dive. It's also just called Swan here on the window chair, but it's that bigger advancement version of a typical swan you'd see on the window chair. So again, uh, when my teacher Jay was in Joseph's studio, there wasn't like swan, swan dive. It was just swan. But for the purposes of making the flashcards on onlinepliesclasses.com, I wanted to make sure that people knew that there was options, that you could just do part of the exercise and build up to doing more. I think sometimes we think it's all or nothing, and I didn't want that to be for those who are learning these exercises. So we're on one middle spring. You can also do one top spring for this because you do want some support, especially if your springs are kind of light. And the setup is actually that you do it from your final swan. So if you are doing the pumps and then the lift, you'd finish with the lift, then you'd lift the legs, bend the elbows and lean forward. And I'm keeping my chest in that reaching forward position. And I don't wanna just rest at the bottom, but I am trying to keep um, the movement going. Now, if you feel like you're slipping around, you could put a little sticky pad there. I'll show you what it looks like with a heavier spring setting. For me, I'm a little in between. Like the one top is almost too heavy for me. So I try to just see how the day is going. Um, also, sometimes um, the, the actual swan dive can just be hard on your hips. So you might want a little sticky pad for that. So again, we finish with our swan and then you lift the legs and then you lift the chest and then you lift the legs and you lift the chest. <clears throat> and so you try not to do the swan from your neck. Um, and it's not that you're kicking your legs, but do you see how like I lifted the legs first to kind of tip me forward and then I lift the chest to come up. So those elbows will bend as you come down, but we're not resting on them like a push up, right? So play around. Today, the top string was better for me. Yesterday, the top string was too much. So you will find what works best for you and how can you work with those springs. If you are um, playing with the flashcards and you love them, let us know. We love hearing that. You can also check out all the other decks because as you can see, as we continue to grow the decks, you can see how each card relates to another card in another deck. Really helps you take this one over to the one on the mat and rock it back and forth as if you're one piece. Ooh, give it a try, let us know. Check us out at onlinepliesclasses.com where we do life better.